To create the best tasting food, you start with the freshest ingredients. Carefully selected and blended together in authentic recipes found nowhere else. Only the finest quality natural ingredients go into the food we prepare every day from scratch. The original Pancake House, the origin of great taste. Rep the 605 with Soccer 605 Apparel from our clothing partner, Dakota Lettering. Just click on the store banner on the Soccer 605 website to see a wide variety of style and colors. Want more options? Visit the store for an almost unlimited variety. Soccer 605 Clothing. Represent. To the O'Gorman campus this afternoon, the O'Gorman Knights host the Sioux Falls Christian Chargers. What will be the final game of the Knights regular season play? this time, I would ask everyone to rise for the National Anthem. And your lineups for this afternoon's contest. Starting for the Sioux Falls Christian Chargers. Junior midfielder number two, Connor McElroy. Junior midfielder number four, Derek Zevenbergen. Junior midfielder number five, Logan Aukas. Junior defender number six, Levi DeWitt. Senior midfielder number seven, Joey Ten Naples. Senior forward number 10, Paul Ide. And sophomore defender number 13, Jacob Bohr. Sophomore defender number 14, Jordan Holpe. Tending goal for the Chargers, junior number 16, Andrew Unrich. Junior number 17, defender Jack Scott. And final defender, junior number 19, Josh Fliggy. The Chargers are coached by Kendall Velgersdijk and assistant coach Efron Poyer. Velgersdijk there. And your O'Gorman Knights starting lineup. Tending goal number double zero, junior Christian Yakowitz. Christian Yakowitz came up with some great saves. And forward okay. freshman number one, Bo Blunt. Bo Blunt. And midfield, freshman number 12, 
Andrew Pujato. And defender, sophomore number 13, Chris Kirschman. And forward, junior number 16, Caleb Overman. And midfield, number seven, junior Jamie Van Overshield. Freshman midfielder, number 21, Ethan Glissendorf. Junior, number 22, midfielder Preston Zimprich. And defender, senior, number 23, Nathan Kramer. And defender, freshman, number five, Gabe Daly. And forward, senior, number 11, Cedric Kirschman. And rounding out the night, senior forward, number four, Nathan Osterquist. The Knights are coached by Bryce Holiday and assistant coaches Gary Glissendorf and Devin Kirschman. This evening's officials, Patrick Wilchin, Guy McNeely, and Luke Acor. Good luck this afternoon, gentlemen. All right, the annual game between Sioux Falls Christian visiting Sioux Falls of Gorman. It's been a great, uh, it's been a great series of games over the years. Of course, uh, Sioux Falls Christian in the A division, Sioux Falls of Gorman in the double A. And Christian, as usual, bringing in an unblemished record into the game at 10 and 0. And O'Gorman with a 4-4-3 four, four, and three record. Sioux Falls Christian have not played a double-A opponent so far this year. A month ago, uh, Sioux Falls O'Gorman uh, did play top-ranked uh, A Spearfish and lost at Spearfish. Should be a great game. Hope you enjoy it, folks. Right here on Soccer 605. Paul Eide, uh, lead 11 player, stepping up for the kickoff. He's got Levi DeWitt with him up top. Joey Tenapple, number seven, another elite 11 player from last year. Only two seniors on this Sioux Falls Christian squad this year. Amazing, uh, it's absolutely amazing. And the game is underway. Ten Napple touches it over to Boer. They're gonna swing it around the back, back in the middle of Ten Napple. He touches back, they're gonna go out the other side. Ten Apple hit there by Cedric Kirschman, but he gets the ball out. Chargers coming forward here. Ball 80. Sprays it out to the near channel. Does a give and go. it up. Finds Cedric Kirschman in the middle. That ball's not loose though by Derek Zevenbergen. <clears throat> ball's in play. Jakowitz has to make a play on that. Somehow or other that got through. He makes a turn. He's going to come on through. And 
and he bangs it back to the far post. And that comes just wide of the wide of the goal on a header. We're short on uh, ball shaggers here today, so we'll see a little extra time consumed chasing down loose soccer balls. That ball touched inside. Cedric Kirschman now with it. He touches it back out of pressure. Hard challenge there by Connor McElroy. And plastic out already on Cedric Kirschman. Didn't see a foul. Taking the field for the Andrew Pujato on the field. He's a fearless competitor, that guy. That ball up and over. Sioux Falls Christian keeper Andrew Wenru. Keeping a close eye on that. Flicked on there by Eide. Then Apple tries to send a penetrating pass that's intercepted. Bold blunt. Gets a little pressure, ends up fouling. It'll be a Sioux Falls Christian free kick. Ball through there by Sioux Falls Christians. That's banged out by the court. And Pato pops it up. Neither team really acting like they want to settle it down at that point. Chris Kirkman touches it into Overman. Overman was going to try to put it through, but didn't have the right angle on that ball. And they stop the throw to put Cedric Kirschman back on the field. And Cedric Kirschman for the Knights is back on the field. Joey Tenapple. Kept this over to Paul Eide. Back to Tenapple. Nice ball out into the near channel. Connor McElroy up from his midfield spot. He had a try there. Taken care of by Jack Witz. That pass intercepted by McElroy. It will be a Christian throw in. They get it in quickly. Paul Eide centers. And a shot and a goal on the back side. Joey Tenapple. And that's a Sioux Falls Christian Chargers goal.
very uncharacteristic there of O'Gorman. They're normally defending with a lot of guys back behind the ball. And we did not see that many white shirts back there on that sequence. Overman takes a stab at it and misses. Smith trying to get it forward. Now he hits a little harder, that's intercepted. Ziffrich trying to get forward there. He gets the ball knocked away. McElroy trying to connect with the running call ID down the near side. That ball rolls out. Quite an exciting moment there. Two Falls Christian coming forward with numbers. And Jackwitz finally controls it. Overman's going to bring the ball forward himself now. He tries to get it back. That's deflected. But he's got a man. He found Osterquist up top on a three ball. Osterquist has that fire. And uh, Andrew Undrew taking care of that for Sioux Falls Christian. Up from behind there. Free kick now for Sioux Falls Christian. Joey Tenapple will take the kick for Sioux Falls Christian. And that runs out without being touched. on the field now. Norman Andrew Pujato and Ethan Glissendorf. Both capable young guys. That pass picked off. Calroy cuts inside. Sends it back out to the corner to Chris Kirschman. He's going to go long. They had Bo Blunt over there. And that's kicked out by Sioux Falls Christian. Zipperich puts it in the middle to Glissendorf. He one times it but that's intercepted. Christian working hard to try to get guys forward. This 
didn't really have numbers on that attack. And Napo heads it back into the defense. Dave Daly sends it up in the middle of the park. Sent back in by Sioux Falls Christian. Back to Christian Yakowitz. He sends it up into the middle, and that's headed out by Christian. Old Gorman throw here. Over to Zimprich. Ted Napple steps in there and stops that. Good battle in the middle there between those two. Ben Overshield. Kirkman misses that little pass. And the ball is into the far channel. Levi DeWitt sends it up to Heidi. Back to Ten Napple. Levin Berger. Bergen finds the Kelroy. Zipperich gets it into Pujato. He gets that ball knocked loose. And Pujato with another chance here. Great diagonal ball up into the corner. It's a race, but the ball's going to run out before Blunt can get to it. Great idea there by Andrew Pujato. He turns, pulls down quickly. Van Overshell gets it up to Blunt, but that pass knocked away. In the middle now to 10 Napple. Pajado's pressuring from behind. Heidi with the ball now. He drops back to Zevenbergen. Back to Zevenbergen in the middle. Andrew Pajado harassing him. And that ball rolls out. That'll be a Sioux Falls O'Gorman throw. Chris Kirschman puts the ball in play for O'Gorman. Touched out. It'll be a Sioux Falls O'Gorman throw again. Pajaro cuts in. He wanted to have a crack, but got stopped. That blast out intercepted by O'Gorman. Ball is very unsettled right now. Wissendorf gets a little piece of that pass. Long pass up into the, the Gorman defense. And Glissendorf decides to go out of pressure. Spreads that defense out. And forward. Devin Bergen puts it back into the defense. He's looking for DeWitt up there. And Apple. Can't quite thread that one through. And Paul Whitey is going to carry that forward. McElroy comes back in and is up by the defense, but there's a lot of pressure put on up there by Sioux Falls Christian. Ball headed back in there by Jack Scott. And Zevin Bergen has it hit from way out. You can hear Christian Dakowitz asking his boys to step to the ball a little bit harder. 
Jack Scott looking for McElroy up here on the near side. He finally ends up with the ball. He goes inside to Zevenbergen. And Napa has it. He goes forward. Heidi has a chance at this ball. He wanted the center. But Gabe Daly was in the way. That will be out for a Sioux Falls Christian corner kick. Got Napa over to take the kick. Gorman. Zevenbergen got the ball. He's going to send it back across. Ken Napples offside. That's Caleb Overman coming back on the field. Justin Ziprich limps off the field there. I didn't see the contact, maybe you did. Zakovich sends it up halfway. Overman gets a touch on it. He's pressured from behind. ID steps in and messes that up, but Christian gets a long pass up. That's touched out by Sioux Falls Christian. Chris Kirschman puts the ball in play. Pajados heads it to the middle. That's gathered up by Christian. And here they come. Calroy sends it down the near side. Heidi keeps it in. The last touch on Christian. It'll be a goal kick for Sioux Falls O'Gorman. Seventeen and a half gone in this one already. Sioux Falls Christian scored pretty early. About 13 in. And that's the only score of the game so far. Then Apple tried to go back. That's blasted back up by O'Gorman. Here's a shot, and that's going to go over. I can't see the number real well on that. It's either uh, Zach Reitzmer or Levi DeWitt. on by Cedric Kirschman. Overman has the ball. He's going to carry forward. He's got some company. That ball gets through. Great shot there by Pajaro. And a great save by Andrew Unruh. Yeah, that was an all-out attack there by Sioux Falls of Gorman. Chris Kirschman puts it back in. That's banged out again by Christian. And McElroy knocks it out. It'll be a Sioux Falls of Gorman throw. And 
and that's out to Two Falls Christian's favor. Coming in for the Chargers, number 11, Chase Vanderhaar, and number three, Elijah Bird. Elijah Bird, a freshman coming in up top. For Sioux Falls Christian. Vanderhaar catches that ball out. Overman uh, getting a lot more involved in attack here as we get into the middle of the first period. That'll be a Sioux Falls Christian throw. Paul Eide with the ball, he pitches over to Ten Apple. He's gonna send it on into the far channel. DeWitt doesn't get a good touch there. But Ted Napple gets it back. Light to Bird now. Trying to make something happen. McGorman touch back to Yakowitz. He's trying to play it out of the back there. He puts it over now. Looking for some way out. He puts it out of pressure. Falls Christian doing a great job of cutting off those passing angles out of the back. Sioux Falls, well, Gorman wanted to play it out of the back, not bang it out, but that really was a good choice at that point. Long ball, Cedric Kirschman sends it into the corner. It's a race. One had a hit on it but deflected out by Sioux Falls Christian. Look at that with Jacob Bower over there with him. Overman on the ball now, he touches it up into the far channel. But that was out. Six, Levi DeWitt. Levi DeWitt coming on back for Josh Fliggy. <laughs> Tidden Apple with the ball. That's deflected. Andrew Perjato at one time that he wanted to find Overman, couldn't connect. Ball to the far side. side to Chris Kirschman. He tries but can't get past Jordan Holfe. Heidi puts him back in the middle. And Ted Napple with the ball. Vanderhart touches over to Zevenbergen. Zevenbergen puts it over on the far side. And that ball stolen there. Touches it forward, but then it's such back to Unruh. He's going to blast it up halfway. Little give and go down the side there. Just a little bit too much pace for Overman to catch up with it. Great idea though. Overman and Osterquist trying to do a little one two down the side. 
15 minutes now left field, in the first nine, period. Number 18, Jake Meyer. And number 35, Tate Gerson. We want to make sure and start thanking our sponsors. Our longest term sponsor on Sports 605 Network is Home Federal Bank. They have branches all over. You probably have a Home Federal branch in your town. If you do, why don't you stop by and thank them for supporting youth athletics and the Sports 605 Network. Thanks to Home Federal Bank. It's your time. Deep in uh, Sioux Falls or Gorman's end here. And Sioux Falls Christian doing a good job of taking care of the ball. Heidi touches out to Vanderhart. And Andrew Fajardo shows up there. He touches up to Kirschman. Kirschman can't get the ball past him. But he does it all the way across. Finally kicked out of there by Gabe Daly. Porter Gorman. Heidi. He hits one. Elijah Bird was there on the back side, but. Yakimus takes care of that one. Get the ball out to Pato in the near channel. He catches inside. He wants to send it through. He had Overman up there. This timing wasn't quite right, but a great idea. Again by Andrew Pajato. Devin Bergen, he gets the dispossessed there by Glissendorf. Van Overshield trying to do something with it. Doesn't have a lot of space. Fajardo now. He's going to come forward with it. He gets knocked off the ball. Chris Kirschman sends it back in. Listen, Dorf out to Kirschman. And Zevenberger, Zevenbergen touches that out. But the pass out intercepted by Overman. Good battle there in the middle. And Andrew Bujato with the ball in his hands. Under with another long punt up. Overman. He hits it into Van Overshield. He has a shot, and again, Andrew Andrew on the job for Sioux Falls Christian. Bergen pass a little strong, can't get it to Tenapple, but that pass intercepted on the way out. Back in the middle is Evan Bergen. He pops it up over the defense. He's looking for Vanderhaar over here on the near side. He's had a little too much pace on that one. You know, folks, if you ever hear at the fantastic McEnany Field uh, nine, on the O'Gorman uh, campus, not far from here, you can uh, see one of our other great restaurant sponsors. You can 
Pat Gatehouse or just east of Kiwanis on 41st Street. Boy, what a great place to eat. They take a lot of care to get the precious ingredients to make your dining experience a top shelf experience. Play a little shaky down there in the final third. The Sioux Falls Christian maintain possession. Ball popped over here to the right side of the Vanderhart. In the middle now to Zevenbergen. Back to Vanderhart. Vanderhart. He gets passed. And Fajardo with a nice defensive play. At least not lunging for the corner. The ball is kicked out for a corner. So anyway, uh, go check them out. Original Pancake House. Eat there and be happy. over there. It was knocked out by Sioux Falls Christian. You know, if our numbers are ringing right, uh, you could be watching this uh, game on your smartphone right now. Back on the field for the Knights, number 11, Cedric Kirschman. And uh, that's why we want to thank our one of our main sponsors, Cellular Only, with two stores here in Sioux Falls. They are a premium Verizon retailer. Also the stores in Pier and Watertown for your convenience. Overman turns the corner. Boy, puts a real nice ball back through the middle. And O'Gorman had guys there. They just weren't in the right spot to pick up on it. Beefo Brady's, two great locations here in Sioux Falls. Beefo Brady's North in the Sanford Sports Complex. Beefo Brady's South at 60 length and Western. Just a couple minutes from the Yankton Trail Sports Complex. It's a great place to go. And one of our favorite places to go after the game. Nobody out beats beefs. Check them out. A little bit of an entanglement there. Ball called on Sioux Falls Christian. Seven minutes now left in the first half. Long ball up. And Renroll Unruh uh, reaches up and pulls that out of the sky. And that's really pretty tough at this point in the game because that sun is right in Andrew Andrew's eyes, right in his eyes. You know, the uh, Sioux Falls Play It Again Sports Store has moved for your convenience into a huge new store. They're just south of 41st Street. That ball end headed back out. Paul Whitey gets under it here. He attracts some attention right away, but maintains possession. Ted Napple cuts it back over to Zevenbergen. That pass misses by a little bit. Anyway, the new Play It Again store, huge new sport store. They got all sorts of great uh, gear in there, new and used. Go give them a look. They're located on Western, just south of Minnesota, or just south of 41st Street, pardon me. They're right across uh, Western back on the field for the night, from Shields. Preston, Preston Zimperich back and on the, the field. Chargers, now for number two, Carter Carter. McElroy. 
Major Bird off for Sioux Falls Christian. Zippers looking for Overman. That ball banged out. Maybe get some going through. Well, Christian have some numbers for him. And Chris probably wisely picks that ball out. For a Sioux Falls Christian throw. You can see we're at uh, a little over four and a half minutes left here. In the first half. Finally, you know, if you're uh, watching this and, and you're thinking about hockey, you know, we're already having hockey 605 meetings around our office because hockey season will be here before you know it. I want to do a quick shout out to your hometown hockey shop, hockey headquarters here in Sioux Falls. If you got any questions, stop in and see Bert, Bert and the boys there at hockey headquarters. For your hometown hockey shop. Three and a half now. Times is ticking away. Elijah Bird from Chargers back on the field. Elijah Bird back on the field. Just Kirschman to Overman. He tries it again. Overman pops one into the 18, but Andrew Unruh quickly out to take control of the ball. Clock ticking down to three minutes now. McElroy gets it over to Heidi. Heidi fires. And that's handled easily there by Yakowitz. Throws it out. And that ball is knocked out by Elijah Bird. Chris Kirschman throws it in. But it's a foul throw. Comes back out. And Sioux Falls Christian will put it in play. Bird heads it inside. And DeWitt bangs it forward. Heidi tries to stab at it, but it got past him. All Heidi with the ball now. Gabe Daly dispossesses him there, but it will be a Christian throw. You can hear the fans shouting their positive encouragement onto the field there. And that's out for a goal kick. it up to Blitzendorf. He heads it on. Now Overman puts one through. It's going to be a race to this ball. Pulte makes it there first. And kicks it out. Zipperich throws it in. He has Jake Meyer in the middle. Blitzendorf. Dally with a nice long pass up front. And Van Overshield called with that little hold from behind. McElroy and Kramer go out into the corner over there.
And this one's going to end. At least this half is going to end with Sioux Falls Christian leading one to nothing on the strength of Joey Tenapple's goal in the 14th minute. Well, folks, uh, that's going to give us a first look at the first half here. We're going to get settled down here, show you a couple messages from some of our fantastic sponsors, and we'll be back with the second half before you know it. Thanks for hanging with Soccer 605. You've worked hard all year. I need you to bring it. Dig down deep today, because today, Everybody plays. Everybody plays. Everybody plays. Everybody plays. Play. When we first learned to work together, it was through play. We learned social skills, give and take, freedom and teamwork through play. There's no age limit on play, no skill level required. Played Against Sports knows play. We buy and sell new and quality used sports and fitness equipment for less. So everybody can play. Sports. Play it again, sports. Play it again, sports. The official sponsor of all those that play. Bergen Bites has a huge supply of refurbished electronics. They're a Microsoft authorized refurbisher. Just look at this computers as low as $100 and a wide variety of electronics, all so affordable. Look at these deals. A Dell 4-core laptop, fully tested, only $200. A MacBook, fully tested and ready to go, only $200. Subscribe to the Bargain Bites YouTube channel and get all sorts of great tips from super technician Brendan. Bargain Bites, just east of the airport off Benson Road. Visit them today online at bargainbites.net. Well, all right, folks, we're back here for the second half. Teams have switched ends. And off we go. Pajado sends it back to Overshield, then Overshield. He puts it out on the near channel. Kramer has to step in there, kind of sort things out. Dally maintains possession around the back. And Blunt now with the ball. He's looking for target man Osterquist up there. Andrew Pajada with a lot of effort there in the middle. And Derek Devenbergen there for two falls. Christian with a little stinger. Jack Scott will put it in play here for two falls. Christian. Andrew Pajado gets in there and digs that out for Gorman. Ball over to Ted Napple. He puts it back in the corner here to Fleegy, who goes back up into Bacchus. Overman anticipates that and he intercepts and sends it forward. And that ball kicked out there by Levi DeWitt.
And as the sun continues to drop, Rick and Yakowitz back here really having to shield his eyes. Banged out of there by Sioux Falls Christian. Paul ID challenges in the middle. But Gabe Galley ended up with it. He sent it out. Still kind of unsettled. Osterquist trying to go forward. He does finally get a poke forward. But that's kicked out. And it will be a corner for Sioux Falls Old Gorman. after that one. Gorman keep him away from it. And Andrew Pottle tries to get the ball past Fliggy. But not quite enough room there for his pass. Blunt to throw it in. He finds Osterquist there in the middle. Osterquist does a kind of a part little backward kick. Overman, Osterquist, he gets through a couple but can't get through them all. Kelroy sends a ball forward. He has Idy hot on that. But that's kicked out of there by Kramer. Gorman throws. Playing around behind. Glissendorf has the ball on the other side now. He's going to come forward. He's got a little space in front of him. Ball's banged out by Christian there. And a long ball in. Overman trying to touch it forward. It accidentally catches his arm, but that's going to be called a handball right at the 18. Tries to flick it on. Just a little bit too much pace there. Brockus to catch it. Dally. He's looking for somebody to give it to. That long touch gets him a little bit of trouble. Heidi carrying forward. He fires. Great save there by Yakowitz. And O'Gorman clear it out. And a big ball in. That's going to go out in the corner. Gabe Daly steps up there and knocks that pass out of there. And we're going to see McElroy going in the book for persistent infringement. You could probably see the referee as we zoomed in on him, pointing to two, three different spots on the field. Number 11, Chase Vanderhaar coming back on the field for the Chargers. Vanderhaar back on for the Chargers for McElroy. 
as Yakowitz will put the ball in play. Flicked down there by Van Overshield. Hotto had an idea he was going to poke it through there, but that kind of got spoiled by a big kick out. Tries to head it over to Blunt. A little bit too much pace on that. More positive encouragement from the fans there. Ken Apple bangs it up to Paul Whitey. He's got a very interested Nathan Kramer after him. That ball goes in the middle, run down by over, Van Overshield. Kramer puts it up to Cedric Kirschman. The one's going to put it back forward in the near channel, and that's going to dribble out, throw in by Christian here. Kramer steps in front of that one. The hotto back to Kramer. He's kicked clean, though, by Akis. Banged out by Daly. And Overman on his way to try to run that one down. Just can't quite keep it in. Great effort there. Great effort there by Caleb Overman. Andrew Pujato looking for a way through. He had a little lane there, but Jack Scott got in the way of that for Sioux Falls Christian. Pujato back to Kramer. He's going to put it in the 18, and that just falls into Andrew Unruh's hands there on the 6. Unruh with another good-sized punt. Had ID there. Well, pulls it back. Ted Napple robbed there for, by Van Overshield. Back to Kramer. Hawkins. Paul Eide now. He left, puts it into the middle. Vanderhaar was there. He took a swipe at it, but couldn't quite get the contact. But he was in great position. block there, but he wins it back. I tell you, for, for a ninth grader, uh, Andrew Pujato doing a great job out there. And also, Ethan Glissendorf, a couple of great freshmen there. The future looks pretty bright here at Sioux Falls and Gorman. I mean, those are guys you can build a team. I think get the ball put back in play here. Field for the Chargers, number two, Connor McElroy. And number nine, Austin yeah. Prince. Eric 
Devin Berger coming up. Just under half an hour left here. Still no more goals after the 14th minute goal. Left to attend it. This is Paul's Christian. Oh, that one comes off the post. And Underwood gets on top of that one on the rebound shot. Cedric Kirschman had a great opportunity there. Just a little bit unlucky. Sometimes they say the difference between a great weekend and a bad weekend is four inches, which also happens to be the exact thickness of the woodwork. Ten Apple trying to connect there with Austin Prince. Can't. Ten Napple again, he gets it over the far channel. He's looking for McElroy over there. And the ball does end up on McElroy's foot. He gives it to Paul Eide. That's knocked loose though. Andrew Pajada with a nice little move there in the middle. Ten Napple trying to hold him down. Long ball with Lutz. Offside. Just by a meter or so. Catches it back out. Little ball up top. That's banged out of there by Gabe Daly. Overman. He's getting harassed in there by Ten Apple, but he does get the ball through. It's kind of deflected as it goes in, and Andrew Unruh picking that up. Games have really opened up here in the last few minutes. End to end action. McElroy dumped over on the other side. effort there and despite having a heavy sun in his eyes Yakowitz gets control of that one touched out there Sioux Falls Christian will throw it in And another foul called over there. We're going to see Preston Zippridge coming on. For Nathan Osterquist. After the match, number 22, Preston Zippridge is back in the game. And Napple heads it forward. Prins can't keep a hold of it. Now Zimprich with the ball. He tries laying it in there in the middle of the big box, but that's headed back out. 
Kramer now is gonna try to get forward. He does get through, but that ball's banged forward and banged out of there by Aukas. Kramer back to put the ball in play for O'Gorman. there for the ball. And we're going to see a foul committed right at the 18. That was really quite a nice sequence. A couple of guys, a couple pairs of guys actually really going after that ball down there. This is going to be interesting. We see Ten Napple go straight to frame, or what he's going to try to do here. And that's exactly what he tried to do. And Yakowitz makes yet another solid save. Big punt out that's kicked out by Christian. Van Overshield touches over to Glissendorf. He tries to go forward. He's looking for Overman. And now we're going to see a foul down at the other end. Chris Kirschman. And he puts it on frame. Not a big problem there for Andrew Hunter. That's a touch forward there by McElroy. He's got Heidi going hard for the ball. First time. And that's a big shot there. Austin Prins having a go. Returning to the game, number three, Elijah Bird, and number 13, Jacob Ward. And finally, though, the sun's out of Christian Yakowitz's eye, so he won't have that handicap for the final segment of this second period. Nice centering ball there by McElroy. He had Paul Eide there. that time when you're the coach of the team that's down when the clock seems to be running a little bit faster than normal and when you're the team that's up it seems like it's running a lot slower than normal number 35 Tate Grierson returns to the pitch gets through. Once there for the clearance pass. Andrew Bajado tried to touch it. Take a nice positive touch towards the goal. But that didn't work. Oh, 
you could say O'Gorman's doing everything they could do right now to get level here. A lot of effort everywhere on the field. And Overshield heads it up to Overman. Great little ball through. Overman was looking for Andrew Pujato making his run back behind him. That ball was deflected a little bit, otherwise that sure could be a, a been a goal. Pajado was, he was sizing up the goal. Van Overshield comes forward. Gets her ass there a little bit, comes back to Kramer. Goes up to one. He tries but can't get by Akas, but Dally bangs it back in and it's kicked out by Sioux Falls Christian defense. One throws it in, he finds Overman there. Heidi touches the McElroy. Gets a nice touch on that and he launches one. It goes just right left. The Akowitz right there. Ted Napple now to Heidi. Heidi thought Ted Napple was going to keep going. Van Overfield ends up with it. Big ball across. That was headed in by Glissendor. Long ball there, Yakovitz way out. Blunt with the ball. He's being held up there by Jacob Moore. Jack Scott. Heidi and Dally having a little contact there. Hawkins run down from behind there. Not a real hard foul, but one nonetheless. Van Overshield turns. He carries the ball forward, but loses possession. McElroy tries to touch it through there to Paul Eide, but just can't get quite enough foot on it. Nice piece of defending there by Elijah Bird, but <laughs> defending the wrong guy for just a moment. Cedric Kirschman on number 11 for Andrew Pajado. Pajado putting in some great service for his team here today. Really a clever, clever young guy who's got some skill. Andrew will put the ball in play here from off his six. Clock ticking down as 
13 and a half minutes or so left here in the game. Heidi coming down the far side. He's got some company in the middle. And that shot saved by Yakowitz. He's done a great job here in the goal. Not only tonight, but all week. This is our second O'Gorman game of the week. Dorf touches over to Van Overshield. This pass misses. Kramer looking for Overman. Field goes back. McElroy is there sneaking up behind Dally. McElroy. He's looking for righty. That gets through there, but banged out of there by Yakowitz. McElroy <laughs> nearly misses at that opportunity. And that rolls out for an O'Gorman goal kick. Andrew Pujato, number 12 for the Knights, returns to the match. Andrew Pujato back on for Ethan Glissendorf. And even though O'Gorman's doing everything they can to level it up, that does not mean that she falls Christian has stopped trying. Preston Zippery, hard work and hard running guy. Putting a little pressure on. And that ball's kicked out for an O'Gorman corner kick. Chris Kirschman up to take the kick. Out of his left back position. Pushed out by Unruh. And that'll be out for a throw. Nice try, White. At about 20 meters. McElroy with a, about a half to Lazo there. Ball goes out. Ten minutes left in this one. Number one, Bo Blunt, back on the field. Old Blunt on the field. McElroy. He's trying to thread it through there to Heidi. Yakowitz very alertly anticipates that and comes out. Does a little bit of, of a sweep in there from his goalkeeper position. A beautiful day for soccer here in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Side. Trains the tackle, misses. 
Overman puts a pass for a self pass. And that's back on the way. For another O'Gorman corner. Christian Kirschman lets her go. Lowen bounces in. And that's a high ball way out of play. While we're doing the substitutions, let's uh, give a big thank you out to Home Federal Bank, one of our major sponsors for this the entire Sports 605 network. Chargers, Chase Vanderhaan. You have a Home Federal branch in your town, why don't you stop by and thank them for supporting youth athletics through the Sports 605 network. Home Federal Bank, it's your time. Jack Scott to take this free kick here. Man over shield chasing hard over there for O'Gorman. He keeps the, the ball alive for them. Overman finds one on the far side. Hawkins in the way. Big shout out to another major sponsor for Sport 605. The original Pancake House on 41st Street, just east of Kwan. What a great place to eat. Eat there and be happy. You'll be glad you did. Paul Lighty coming forward here. Getting held there by some great patient defending by Chris Kirschman. Ball in the corner. Back to Heidi. He's trying to make the corner, but Kirschman just holding him there. Freshman working against the senior. And the freshman comes out with the ball. Great work there by Chris Kirschman. Beef O'Brady's, two fantastic locations in Sioux Falls to enjoy. Beef North at the Sanford Sports Complex. Beef South at 69th and Western. They're just a couple minutes away from Yankton Trail Park. Send off there. And we got a guy down rolling around over there. So Sioux Falls O'Gorman will finish with 10. That is Connor McElroy down on the far side. Trainer over there taking a look at him. She has him sitting up. And Connor up and coming off on his own power. Upright and ambulatory, you might say. He'll be replaced by Elijah Bird. And Joey Tennapple will take this free kick. 
for Sioux Falls Christian. Still in play. Unruh fouled deep. That's kind of unusual if they'd make him take that deep of a kick. Kramer. Looking for somebody on the wing, but Blunt was a little more central than he should have been. Touched out to 80. Bird sends it in the middle. Dally with some nice work gets it out of there. And it's headed forward by Van Overshield. Just under three minutes left in this one. Comes out left, Aukas. It's a high ball in. I think he was trying to get that up in the middle for somebody to get their head on it. Blunt Loverman can't get it past Jack Scott. Sends it long. Paul Eide going against Daly up here. Daly kicks him clean there. And that's banged out by Ken Napper. Kramer throws it in. Ken Napper heads it back into Paul Eide. Eide draws a lot of attention there. Lissendorf knocks the ball away from him. And Overshield's got a little space. He launches it forward. Andrew Pajado's on the ball for the ninth. And DeWitt makes it over, kicks that out. That'll be a worm and throw. Minute 18. Bird carries to the middle. He tries to squirt it through there to Whitey, but just too many white shirts in the way. Under a minute now.
Quick throw in there by O'Gorman. Two falls Christian just wanting that clock to expire and get out of here with a win. Falls Christian coming to McAdee Field and get out of here against Double A. Falls Christian Chargers. Two Falls of Gorman with a no, one to nothing win. Valiant effort here by Two Falls of Gorman. Chargers, best of luck to you in the remainder of your season and safe travels to everyone home. Folks, we want to thank you for hanging out with Soccer 605 for another fantastic game. We want to thank all those sponsors who you've seen scrolling above and below your video player. Thanks very much for hanging with Hot Soccer 605. We'll see you on a pitch somewhere soon. Rep the 605 with Soccer 605 Apparel from our clothing partner, Dakota Lettering. Just click on the store banner on the Soccer 605 website to see a wide variety of style and colors. Want more options? Visit the store for an almost unlimited variety. Soccer 605 Clothing. Represent.